In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you my go-to favorite eyeshadow look. So I'm using two brushes from Saint for my eyeshadow look, the eyeshadow brush and the smudge brush. You could do one brush for your eye look, but I just love using both of these brushes. And then I'm gonna use these five colors today. I'm gonna show you how easy you can do this eyeshadow look that takes a matter of minutes. And it's just, it's gonna be stunning on any eye color. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite eyeshadow looks to do. So the first thing I have on my eyelid is a good primer. You can use your highlight foundation from Saint. If you have really oily skin like me, that might not work the best as a primer for your eyeshadows. You wanna use a primer because it's just gonna help to uh, make your eyeshadows more pigmented. And if you have oily skin, because you do have skin on your eyelids, sometimes the oils in that skin can cause your eyeshadows to crease a little bit. So if you want your eyeshadows to really pop and last all day and look flawless, use a good primer. There's a lot of different great eyeshadow primers out there. My personal favorite is from Urban Decay. It's a little pricey, but I do think it's worth the investment. So this is their primer potion. It comes in a variety of colors. My favorite is in the color Sin, S-I-N. I know that's terrible. So it's just a light champagne shimmer right there. And it's almost pretty just by itself, but that is my primer on my eyelids. So my eyeshadows I'm using are all coming from Saint. If you have watched my videos long enough, you know our eyeshadows are all customizable. So that means you pick and choose the tins you want to go into your makeup compact. No more you're stuck with an eyeshadow palette where you only love one of 14 colors and you've paid too much money. You gotta pick and choose what goes in there. And at $12 a piece, 2.1 grams in each tin, you're getting almost twice as much product and this is high quality eyeshadow. So I love these eyeshadows. I'm an eyeshadow snob. That means I like expensive eyeshadow. And let me tell you, these are the best of the best and they're not expensive. So I'm gonna be using these five colors today. I normally like to show a four eyeshadow look. You can get away with just one color in your eyes. I'm just gonna show you these five because they're beautiful and they're right there in my compact. So almost, uh, Mm, three of the eyeshadows that I'm using today were featured in the, um, one of the three collections I did for Saint this fall. And I did three eyeshadow collections, the Pumpkin Spice, the Dusty Rose, and the Harvest Moon. The Harvest Moon was actually my personal favorite and three of the eyeshadows in the collection are in the look I'm doing today were in the Harvest Moon collection. Uh, the one color that wasn't is this color right here. This is Snowbird, and I will not be using Snowbird today. It is a gorgeous color though. So without further ado, let's get started. So I am using this brush. This is the eyeshadow brush. We have a variety of double-ended brushes. The eyeshadow brush is my very favorite brush from Saint when it comes to my eye makeup. It makes it really easy to do my eyeshadow look, and I can also do it literally in a matter of minutes. So I'm gonna start with the fluffy end of the eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna pick up my base color. So I'm gonna go into this matte color. This is a matte caramel. This is the color Butterscotch. It's very pigmented, just like all our eyeshadows. You can see it right there. So I'm gonna pick up that powder and I'm gonna tap any excess off. That way I don't get too much fallout on my makeup since it's already done. And if I do, no worries, we can clean that right up. So I'm just gonna take that fluffy end of my eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna start going back and forth like a windshield wiper. So you can see I'm going pretty high up and I'm really getting that color right up there, back and forth. And so the reason why I'm doing back and forth motion like this, and this brush makes it so easy to do that, is because I really wanna get that color evenly on my eyelid and I want you to see that eye color when I'm wearing it. So you can go as light as you want with these colors or you can keep building on it. Another trick to do is if you have a hooded eyelid and the top of your eyelid is resting on the bottom, keep your eye open when you do that motion. So it's a little hard for me to do just because of my lashes, but you can keep your eye open and really get that color up. I am holding the brush further away from the tip because I don't want as much pressure. I'm going for light and soft, but you can see with my eyes open, you can see that first color I have on there. You can also switch ends of your eyeshadow brush and just in the smaller end, and then bring that first color butterscotch slightly underneath. So that way it's beautiful and all together complete. 
just like that. So you can see if the top of your eyelid is resting on the bottom of your eyelid, get that color all the way up. You do have a bone right there. So we're just creating a false crease. That helps because you walk around with your eyes open. You want people to just see your eye colors that you're wearing. You can see how pretty butterscotch is by itself. Now I'm going to start to build dimension to my eyes. I like to add dimension because it really makes my eyes look bigger, makes my eyes pop. So my darkest color in this that I'm doing today is this matte brown right here. This is Philly. I really like the color Philly. It's gorgeous with any eye color. I'm going to pick up Philly with that small dense end of that eyeshadow brush, tap the excess off, and I'm going to start to just build dimension and flick that dark color Philly right here in the outer corner. Notice I started on the outer corner. You can start down here and start flicking it, or you can start up here and then bring it down just a little bit. And we're just building dimension on the outer corners. So what I'm basically going for is an ombre effect to my eyes. I'm gonna go light to dark. So don't bring that darker color too far in or right in here. You're just gonna make your eyes look smaller when you do that. So focus the darkest color on the outer corners. Now I'm gonna use my finger for the next step. So I have three beautiful shimmers right here. I have a light cream shimmer, and then I have these two shimmers that are very close in color. Both of these colors were in the Harvest Moon collection. So this is a darker, warm brown shimmer. This is the color Hot Cocoa. It is gorgeous. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Hot Cocoa, just like that, and I'm gonna tap Hot Cocoa right here in this spot. So I'm starting at the base and then slowly moving it up. I don't have hot cocoa really in the outer corner and I don't have it in this part right here or this part. I want you to picture like my eyes divided in four sections, like one, two, three, and four. I have hot cocoa basically in the third area, right there. So it's just this beautiful brown shimmer building dimension, creating an ombre effect, and it's super, super pretty. You could do hot cocoa all over. I love that look. This is just my go-to eyeshadow look that I like to do though. I'm gonna switch brushes. So you can continue to use the eyeshadow brush if you'd like. I'm gonna use the smudge brush. I love this brush because it's really good for blending your eye makeup out. I also really like it for the inner corners of my eyes. So remember I told you that I, we're gonna pretend like my eyes divided in one, two, three, and four. So I've got the darkest color in area four to build dimension. I've got hot cocoa I just added in um, section three. In section two, and technically you could even do a little bit in one, I'm gonna go into the next lighter shade of my shimmer. This is Angel's Landing. Angel's Landing is very pigmented. Some people describe it as a little bit more of a glitter. It is very pigmented. And so I do encourage you to use a good brush so you have good control of the color. It is my favorite Saint eyeshadow though. You're gonna see why in a minute. In the smudge brush, I've taken the flatter end of it. I'm gonna pick up Angel's Landing just with that. And I am going to focus Angel's Landing on the section two and just softly up high like that. And you can bring any excess of it in the inner corner. You can see how pretty that color is and it just really brightens up your eye and makes it pop. Okay, the last color I'm gonna add is this lightest color in these five. This is Drift. Drift is a shimmer. I would definitely say it's not as shimmery as these two I just applied. So Drift, I'm gonna use the smaller dome end of the smudge brush, pick up Drift, and I'm gonna focus a little bit more pressure when I do this, and I'm just going to really apply Drift in the inner corner of my eye, a little underneath 
and then just bring it out. And so what we're doing is we're just opening the eye up even more and really emphasizing that ombre look to my makeup. And you can do this in a matter of minutes when you've got the right tools, the right brushes and your colors are all right there. And I promise you, and I'm gonna add a little bit of that just up here of the drift. You will get people asking you, what eye makeup are you wearing? What are those eyeshadows? They're gonna think you went and got your makeup professionally done. So those are the five colors I used. I started off with butterscotch all over, Philly on the outer corner, then hot cocoa on the mid outer corner for a shimmer, Angel's Landing right there, and then I finished it off with drift on the very inner corner. And those eyeshadows just come right there. They pop in my compact. I can move them any which way I want. You can move them around, which is really nice and convenient to do. And then I used the smudge brush and the eyeshadow brush. 